this is Ocon, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and doing a, a really quick review of the iPhone 4 black 16 gigabytes. So, right on the box, we see the iPhone 4 here with iOS 4.0 and was with the Retina display. Although this is the this was the first iPhone box to not have the actual iPhone on it, like the whole front of the iPhone on the box with the home button where you can feel it's just a picture. And also from the front, we know it is a 4 and not a 4S because this antenna brake is on top, although on the 4S this exact antenna brake is down here above the mute switch. So here on the bottom, or that side, we have the Apple logo, iPhone 4, Apple logo, and iPhone 4. And on the back, we have 16 gigabytes. It includes iPhone 4, Apple earphones with remote and mic, dot connected USB cable, and so on and so forth, and has some technical information. And here we have AT&T and Apple logo, iPhone 4, black, 16 gigabytes. This phone was purchased in November of 2010. Just the owner has kept the box and most of its contents in really good condition. So here, we even have the original receipt from this item. November 13th, 2010, 1.45 p.m. Scott, Apple Store, Scottsdale Quarter in Arizona, although I do live in, in California. So, okay. and here is the iPhone 4. I'm going to set that aside for just a second. And here, we pull that tab and there's the cradle, which held the iPhone. Here's this envelope, designed by Apple in California. Well, this does not include a SIM eject tool, although I believe the European models do, or did. Here we have fingertips, which is which is a basically a really long guide. It even has a second side. Nowadays with the iPhone 6, I believe it just it's just like one it's a one page with front and back, which is just a really quick quick start guide. Here iPhone 4 with some warranty info. And also it would normally come with Apple stickers, although these, because this box is like a four-year-old box, they weren't in this box. And also down here we have copyright 2010 Apple Inc. And here we have the USB power adapter. Oops, that was always fun. Power adapter, which, well, would plug into a wall. The small version was standard for the iPhone since the 3G. Here. We have the 30 pin USB sync and charging cable. And finally, we have the old Apple earbuds, as they were called, not ear pods. And here we have the remote and mic. So, just a quick review of this iPhone. This is running 7.1.2, the final software version available for this phone. So, but for hardware, it just has the classic home button on the front with the speaker grill, FaceTime, front-facing FaceTime camera. This is the first iPhone to include that. On the right, we have the micro SIM slot. Here we have the power button and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a tiny microphone. Here we have the mute and screen rotation lock switch. And here we have the volume up and volume down keys. This is the first iPhone to have the separate keys, not the one connected rocker. Here we have the 30 pin dock port and the twin speakers. And finally on the back, we have the five megapixel cam rear facing camera and the LED flash, Apple logo and iPhone and designed by Apple in California and some and info information there. So, thank you for watching this video. Please like or subscribe if you like it, and bye.